I mean, it's a good question um, because they are sometimes seen as being at cross purposes, right? The sort of uh, organic and natural development of plot and character in fiction um, and building a narrative arc out of that and then building in um, historical event and maybe having a theory or idea of why that event occurred or what kind of complexity emerged in the wake of some sort of historical event. But I don't come at the question of the novel from the perspective that those two things are at cross purposes. I think for whatever reason, I am in a sort of natural way uh, a person who is interested in the world and interested in history. And when I go to write, some of the kind of creative energy for me that I can crack open is inside of these more idea-based things. I mean, I'm speaking in very general terms, but like for instance, the New York art world in the 1970s. Um, to understand that time, it isn't really just about the personalities or the love affairs. It's the fact that there were a group of artists that were moving into these former manufacturing and industrial warehouses because the industrial era was coming to an end in the United States, um, and particularly in urban centers. And you know, the American city was a sort of um, a dying and rare animal in the 1970s. So I think about all of these components of what make for the context of an artist living in Soho in the 1970s. And that's just something that I do because that's the kind of person that I am. I don't do a ton of research. Um, so I don't think of my book as research laden. And maybe that's just because I like that somebody's revving a motor in the background. Um, maybe that's because I move toward material uh, that I already have um, a pretty solid interest in and hopefully grasp of. I don't decide, uh, you know, I'm going to write a book about X and then learn a ton about X. It's not so random for me. I pick subjects and milieu and people and phenomena that I have found interesting for a long time and have maybe spent some of my life circulating in to a degree. It's a great question, and I feel like if I could answer that um, precisely, I would know something about myself that is probably oblique to me. But I think it has to do, I hate to say it, but it has to do with life experience to some degree. I wanted a format, or needed a format really, that could incorporate a lot of what I think about the world and the interactions that I've had with other people. And um, also, a poetic and aesthetic dimension. I mean, just previous to that or leading into your question, you mentioned uh, the rubber industry and there's a very short scene in my book that takes place on a rubber plantation and that really started as a kind of poetic image to me. Um, this idea of uh, an anonymous quasi-slave working in this plantation, uh, it's terrible but it also has a certain poetic potency to me as an idea. Um, and I also care about politics and um, you know the kind of history of well the factory and the worker, the role of the worker and capital and the way that it works and who makes money and who doesn't. And um, so the novel is in a way a form that it can incorporate all these different elements and put them into play so that nothing is reducible to, you know, a, an academic has a much more straight ahead approach to finding a theoretical strain and arguing for it. And I don't have to take any one strain, but I can put a lot of different things into play and also just do something with the product of my life and thoughts. And back to this, if I had an answer to that, I would know something about myself. I'm not really sure what the answer is, but um, I, I knew that the novel was open enough. It, um, it just can incorporate so many different aspects of personal sensibility.